Are your thoughts creating autoimmune disorder? Hi, my name is Dr. Meghna Dikshit. I'm the author of the book You Matter and Brain and Performance Expert. Today's topic is about autoimmune disorder and are your thoughts creating it really? But before we dive deeper, I want you to go subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and then let's dive deep. So autoimmune disorder, let's first understand how your body processes the thoughts coming to your mind. Your mind is separate from your body, right? But at the same time, your mind cannot process a thought without using your body because it's a hardware. And every cell of your body is getting the messages from your mind. How does this whole mechanics happen in your body? So understand this, when a thought comes in your mind, the signal goes to your nervous system. There's a nervous system called autonomous nervous system. An autonomous nervous system has got two parts, sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. Now, every time you get a thought, it is sent to your autonomous nervous system. And if suppose you have a thought which is positive, calming and unthreatful, so there is no challenging thought there, there is no fear there, there is no anxiety there, that thought goes to your parasympathetic nervous system where it is going easy, calming and you know there is no challenge there and everything is fine. But if you have a thought which is negative thought, where you're perceiving either something going to happen in your future, you're anticipating something going to, going to go wrong in your future, or there's a possibility that you're thinking about something that happened in the past already. And most often what happens in our space is when we get a negative thought, it lasts for a very long time. Now, why does this happen? So our brain's primary function is to keep us safe and protected. And every time you get a negative thought, you create an image in your brain which is a negative image. Now that could be like a tiger chasing you or that could be you're alone, you're abandoned, you're rejected, you're humiliated. It could be anything that's coming from your past or may happen in your future. So when an when a image is projected in your brain, that's how your brain processes any thought that comes up. It's visual. So when an image is popped there and if suppose that image gives you a signal that it is uncomfortable, it is unsafe and there is a challenge or there is a threat here. Now immediately that thought goes to your sympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system is a nervous system of fight and flight and it is it comes in action when it, there is a challenge in front of you. It releases adrenaline and cortisol stress hormones to either make you run away from the challenge or fight with the challenge. And sometimes if you can't do both, you freeze in that moment. Now, the moment the thought goes to sympathetic nervous system, uh, it gets that input that, okay, everything is not okay. And then that thought is processed through your nervous system and it passes on to your immune system. Your immune system is your army, your body's army. So it actually generates different kinds of responses from a negative thought that comes up. There's a first response that comes up from your immune system is of suppression. So your immune system gets suppressed and once you get the immune system suppressed, you get problems like asthma. There's a second response which is overactive immune system where you start getting cough, cold, allergies on your body. And then there is a third response where your immune system starts attacking your own body. So that is called as autoimmune disorder where your own body parts or your own cells of the body are attacking other cells of the body, thinking that they are enemy. So in short, what a negative thought does to you is it starts creating a battle inside you of good over evil. And that battle creates a lot of bloodshed, lot of not actually bloodshed, but if you think about the war and the battle, there's a lot of bloodshed, a lot of deaths happening. And that's where uh, the lot of deaths happening in your body of your cells. And this then uh, garbage or this whatever the extra clutter is created in your body goes to your lymphatic system. Lymphatic system is your drainage system of the body. It clears up all the kachra inside your body. Now your lymphatic system is by design only to clear day-to-day -day non-stressful clutter that is created, which is created through metabolism of the body. Now suddenly when the flux of this lot of clutter comes to your lymphatic system, it gets flooded. Just like the cities when they get flooded, when the sewage system or the drainage system of the city fails, same thing happens in your body. The lymphatic system fails to drain all of this kachra outside of your body. 
so it goes into a mode of disaster management it goes into the mode of panic and it sends a signal back to your nervous system that not all is well in your body and the moment that signal goes back to the nervous system it creates a self sustainable loop negative thought to nervous system nervous system to immune system immune system to lymphatic system and lymphatic system back to your nervous system and when this self sustained loop is created again and again and again your body goes into the panic mode of in that habit of constantly then creating the negative cycles of negative thoughts to negative chemicals and negative reactions in your body and when this is happening involuntarily that means out of your control most likely you fall into the trap of autoimmune disorders now that you have understood how your body is creating the autoimmune disorder and where it originates from it originates from your thoughts so then what do you need to do to heal your autoimmune system is to go back to the thoughts work on your mind make sure that you create the healthy thoughts for yourself and those healthy thoughts then eventually release the healthy chemicals in your body because your thoughts produce chemicals through your emotions emotions are energy in motion and the chemicals when they are healthy chemicals if there is excess of stress hormones it's going to create a problem in your body but if there are hormones of happiness like healthy dopamine oxytocin serotonin endorphins all of these beautiful chemicals in your body will start creating harmony in all these three systems in your body and then automatically start reversing your autoimmune disorder so autoimmune disorder i have seen a lot of research has been done on this and it can be managed well and in some cases it can also can be reversed So what do you exactly need to do to start changing your thought patterns? Well there's a lot of material I have put into this channel for your thought processes changing them. But here I want to give you something specific to work on your autoimmune disorder. So the first thing that I would like to suggest you to do is um understand what is that one event happened in your past or maybe there is a continuous events like when you went through a certain trauma or certain abuse or certain rejection constantly most likely it happens when you are in your family or when your loved one you have a certain expectation from them or where the society sets a certain norm of a relationship and that relationship doesn't fit into the norm suppose you felt that your parents didn't you know believe in you or your parents didn't love you enough or your husband or your wife didn't respect you enough so there's a lot of that churning going on inside you and you are not able to forgive yourself most often i've seen in autoimmune disorders there's a lot of anger there's a lot of resentment regret and lot of feeling that you're not able to forgive yourself and most importantly you're thinking you're not able to forgive that person or that event see self acceptance is a key here so you have to first start forgiving yourself for being in such a situation it doesn't matter who did what yes people are wrong and they have done wrong to you you don't want people to come back to you and tell you that they have done wrong to you because you know that already so your job is to simply heal yourself so start accepting that yes you were in a situation where somebody wronged you and now what do you want to do you want to forgive yourself you want to accept yourself the more you reject and the more you keep thinking about that thought and the more you think about that event it is going to create constant negativity inside you so you have to forgive yourself deeply and accept yourself most importantly the second thing that you need to do in your life to heal your autoimmune disorder is start eating more natural and healthy foods I've seen a lot of people those who uh, have autoimmune disorders when they get rid of dairy and gluten because these are the two typical products these are the two typical food items that are causing a lot of problems in the patients of autoimmune disorder so maybe if you can just get rid of all the dairy items from your food and also get rid of all the wheat all the gluten products from your food that might just help you to live a healthier life you have to focus on your right kind of a elimination most of the autoimmune disorders there's a problem uh, where the toxins are retained in the body right so what are the channels of elimination your body has your stools your urine your sweat and in women your menstrual cycle so you have to focus on your elimination and see if you are eliminating properly 
and if not then seek seek help from a doctor and make sure that you are eliminating well hydrate yourself well reduce your dose of caffeine or tannin less and less be less on uh, intoxicant foods or intoxicant uh, drinks and be more on natural sources of hydration like uh, you know regular warm water with lemon or if lemon suits you sometimes lemon may not suit you if you have arthritis or something so uh, so maybe drink some warm water maybe uh, you know have something which is like hibiscus tea or jasmine tea or something that if you want to have some flavor in your uh, water you can do that but hydrate yourself enough and don't drink items from the fridge it's absolutely harmful for the autoimmune disorder don't eat stale food eat fresh food you should consume your food within 2 hours of cooking so yes it's an effort but you have to put in that effort because you are important your health is important your body is important and your entire life is important so part of your eating right drinking right sleeping right and exercising right is also part of your self care and self care promotes self love so if you can focus on this it will really really help you to make sure that you are on the journey of healing your autoimmune disorder but having said that i have a very sincere suggestion autoimmune disorder is a very deep rooted problem in your body rather than trying to do it on your own my suggestion is seek help from an expert who can help you to overcome your autoimmune disorder or at least make you learn manage it better i have seen a lot of patients of mine getting rid of it either or able to manage it well or able to keep it where it is and at least not aggravating you can still live a healthy and better life when you start working on your thoughts and your emotions if this video helped you do share it with at least 10 people give me a thumbs up and make sure that you leave a comment down and tell me what was the best part that you understood from this video thank you very much for watching